In today's video, we're gonna go through everything you need to know about the trader in Valheim. I'll give you some directions to a cheat seed where you can actually find this trader super simple if you want to do that and teleport between worlds. Um, but also we'll talk about ways you can find it legit in your own world if you're just sticking to the one world and uh, you know you wanna do it sort of that way. I'll also go through all the things you can buy and sell from him, how much they cost and what they all do. So let's jump into it. So Haldor, this is this uh, dude's name, the vendor's name. And you also get this uh, dude over here, Halstein, this beautiful locks. <laughs> so don't worry, this guy's not gonna attack you, he is tame. Um, but basically what you're looking for on the map is going to be this icon right here. Now finding this, we're going to have to uh, talk about in a little bit of detail. Down in the video description, I'm going to put a link to a Reddit post. This will give you a world seed and also directions that are super simple from where you spawn in that world to actually get to one of these traders if you want to do it that way. Uh, but if you want to find it legit, there are some things you can do that will help you out. There's always going to be a bit of a luck element involved if you're just playing on a random seed, but there are definitely some things we can talk about. Um, now, for example, Halder will always be in a black forest biome so you know that is the biomes that you're going to need to look through and you also don't need to get super close to him in order for it to show up what you need to be is about 290 meters or closer for that icon to appear on the map at that point just make sure you're keeping an eye out on your map now i actually got quite lucky in the way that i found mine you'll notice that uh, over here we have the elder boss right so i was coming to the black forest to fight the elder boss and i just happened to see him before i had uh, even fought the elder boss so Basically, I don't know exactly how 290 meters is going to be calculated without like putting down loads of tiles on the floor and doing it that way. Um, but essentially, let's just kill this dude. If you look on the map right here, this is about the distance I was away from the vendor when I saw him. So you can see there, like this is a fair distance. You don't need to be too close to them. And your best bet is going to be just go out and explore through some black forest biomes. So if you're going to go off in search of the vendor, there are some things you're going to want to take with you. Uh, the first I would say is going to be a boat. Now I do know that some seeds have actually spawned Howder on the starting island but i believe this is quite rare and if yours hasn't then obviously you're going to need a boat to get across to different locations and search for him as i said in the sort of uh, earlier in this video the black forest is going to be the place to find him so those are the biomes you definitely want to be looking through um because you can be out exploring a lot be sure to take the obvious things with you you know plenty of food and some weapons and armor and that sort of stuff you might have to fight things off particularly in the black forest um you know trolls graylings all that sort of stuff and you're going to be running around a lot so having good stamina is just going to help you out quite a lot now what i also recommend is you set up a portal uh, before you go call it whatever you want to call it and then when you get to uh, Haldor you can portal back also if you're out exploring and it's turning night time you can quickly set up a portal somewhere come back to your base sleep maybe get some more food or whatever else you might need that you've lost on your trip uh, and then you can go back through the portal destroy the portal and go again if you want to see a video on how to make portals uh, I do have one on my channel I'll link that down in the pinned comments now it might be tempting to think you know what I need to take all of my gold with me and take my rubies to sell to Haldor and things like my amber and whatever else um, but i would say leave these here for now okay you don't want to risk losing these on your trip you're better off to just uh, get a portal set up once you get there and then you can come back and get this stuff and trade with them safely once you've done that in terms of making the portal near Haldor, make sure you set it up with some protection around it for example make sure there's like gates like this so you can get in and out and some of these spikes around it as mobs in the area can and will destroy portals so once you've found your vendor you can get a little area like this set up a nice little protected area for your portal and then you can portal home get all your goodies and stuff like that you know all your gold and amber and stuff like that, that you want to bring to the vendor bring it back through and go and do all of your trades okay so what you can do is uh, bring all of your gold along to uh, buy things from Haldor and also bring stuff to sell to him so we've got here things you can sell are amber you can also sell amber pearls rubies and also silver necklaces if you have any of those um, so you can go ahead and press e to talk to him now to buy you simply select what you want to buy and i'm going to go through these items in a second and to sell you just click down here so if you have an item on you that for whatever reason maybe i don't want to sell my rubies go ahead and just chuck them on the floor nearby and then come back and speak to him again because when you hit sell you don't get to choose what you're selling you just sell all the stuff uh, one by one through your inventory and then the gold as you can see there will go into your inventory when you have sold them so you can see on the screen right now the prices for the different things you can sell to Haldor so an amber there being five coins the pearls are 10 rubies are 20 and silver necklaces are 30 coins so in terms of things you can buy from Haldor the first of all is a yule hat here just like a Christmas hat um, this is purely aesthetical you can wear it like you would a helmet or anything else and it will take up that slot of armor instead of wearing a helmet you'll be wearing this but it's just a bit of fun the diverger circle I have one on me right now so if I uh, go ahead and equip that you'll see that there we go a little light shines out of my head so this can be useful when you're searching through crypts and other dungeon areas and stuff like that to help you with like mining and that sort of thing this right here the mcgindyord probably 
butchered that. But if you buy this, you'll see that my inventory right now, I can carry up to 300, right? That's the weight that I can carry. That goes up to 450 with that Majingord, whatever, belt. So basically, that'll increase the amount you can carry in your inventory. The Ymir Flesh right here, once you've got to the Iron Age, you can use that to make the Iron Hammer. And the Fishing Rod and Bait is, of course, used for fishing. If you want to see a tutorial on that, you can see in the pinned comments, I have a tutorial on how to fish in Valheim. So what's looking through here, you can see your balance down in the uh, bottom of the screen here. I just bought the Fishing Rod and the Bait. And now I'm going to go ahead and buy this right here, the McGinn Jord thing in Majigger. <laughs> you guys know. Uh, so now I can have uh, an extra, basically, once this is equipped, I go ahead and press 7 to equip the uh, the belt there that we've just bought. Uh, my inventory space will go up, so I can now carry up to 450 uh, weight rather than the 300 that we had before. So just for fun, I thought we'd also buy the Yule hat here and try it on for size, see what this thing is all about. So let's go ahead and right-click that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So this right here, this is the Yule hat, guys. If you're looking to buy it, a Viking in a Christmas hat is uh, is a good look. <laughs> I'm gonna start wearing this more often, I think. <laughs> So although this is aesthetical, it does technically give an armor of one. So it's not going to do too much for you, but I don't know. I thought I'd mention it. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty hat, but also does give you one armor. So enjoy, guys. <laughs> so you might be wondering, okay, that's all very well, but where do I get all of this gold and all of the, you know, amber and rubies and stuff like that to sell? And the answer is, guys, you just need to go around exploring. And basically, you need to look in dungeons and look in abandoned settlements and in the chests. Also, killing trolls will also give you uh, coins and stuff like that. So that's basically how you're going to do it. But i got to say, you end up with a pretty good look after trade. I've got my, uh, if, this is like a Batman belt to me, like a Bat belt, right? <laughs> a Batman belt and the Yule hat. I think this is a, definitely a dashing new look for uh, for our Viking character here. Um, if you need help on any of the stuff that I've done in today's video, whether it's like sailing, beating sea serpents, making portals, all that stuff, I do have videos, tutorials on all of this stuff on my channel, guys. So just have a check out of that and I'm sure there'll be stuff there that can help you out. Or you can feel free to, you know, ask me down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you're enjoying the Valheim content, please do consider liking and subscribing for more. But all I want to say for now is just thank you so much for watching this episode and and I'll see you next time. In your opinion, guys, what is the most important thing to save up for and buy first from the vendor? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments.